Hey, Brian here, and I'm back in a uh, reply video. We got lots of people giving lots of comments on our uh, minivan hood, which is basically a 20 gauge piece of metal about one millimeter. I think it's 0.95 of a millimeter, which at one time period, yes, bronze and early metals when they didn't have a lot of iron, uh, they would use sheets of stuff like that with padding behind it stuff but later century as you go on I mean they, they used extremely thick breastplates late late century to stop uh, firearms when they started getting better and better firearms but at a good uh, a good range around I don't know 15th century or so 16th century you've got stuff that's around uh, I don't know about 2.6 millimeters uh, which is uh, about 16 gauge and big into trying to be historically accurate. So this is actually heat treated to a small degree. Uh, there are more extreme heat treatments where you get uh, um, actually not dent at all and pretty much spring back. This is exactly what we've got here. This is slightly heat treated, but we've got a 16 gauge breastplate. I've got the Celtic spear, which is actually really broad, which in some ways with its ridge, because it's an Iron Age design, uh, helps with its armor piercing, but it also kind of makes it harder in some ways that other uh, shapes that might be better for the time period. But what I'm going to do is, since I had a viewer that gave me a comment, and he said that the hood gives an unrealistic view of armor, or uh, actual armor that's made into armor, not you know, just metal to punch through, uh, we're going to test it on this today, see if we can get any penetration. Uh, we'll try the uh, one-handed techniques and uh, uh, two-handed technique and maybe a throw and see what kind of piercing it puts into this. Uh, if it can penetrate it. So let's get started. Uh, oh, and by the way, I looked to, so I can give you a proper reply. Your name seemed to be Armor something. Uh, I don't know if you have a site or what, but if you give me a comment down below, I'll make sure that I put it in the title and a link to who asked me to do this. Because I looked and either you removed the comment, I'm just unable to find it because I'm not sure exactly where it was at. But anyway, no problem. Let's get going. All right, I'm going to try an overarm throwing slide that I always do in all the videos and test out. It has a lot of potential for one-handed piercing of metal. I'm the best at it, which actually trying to pierce things like this. So let's see what happens. Ah! Got a nice dimple and a small hole. That's right over the padding. off to the side. Let's try again. Ah! That's pretty decent. I actually cut into the gambeson slightly and got a hole. I don't know if it killed anybody, but it actually did pierce the one point six millimeter or 16 gauge uh, metal even after being slightly hard not too shabby let's try one more good one with this ah! oh that's the best yet now grant you that's not a kill that still made a hole in the armor, and I'm guaranteeing the shock will be quite devastating to the person who hit. They'd feel that. It's the best piercing we've got on this thing so far, and a sword could not do that. Okay, we're going to try a two-handed sliding technique where I try to throw it through here. And see what it do. Ah! On this, it didn't do much better. Try again, maybe I get my power. Ah! Heck, the overarm seems to be doing better than the slide on this thing with a spear. Try again. Actually, we got the best penetration for the overrun throwing slot. <laughs> Not something I would have expected. Just won't 
quite impressive. Go ahead and try a throw on that second. Ah! The full out throw. And this was our over on slide throw. This is the full out throw. It's a hair more penetration. We actually got into the gambeson and it dented the armor in quite a bit, so I mean, you might have actually made the guy bleed. Maybe, depending on where it's against his chest. This is actually a wide one. This is actually the back plate. I didn't use the chest plate because the chest plate just doesn't have angles to even try to hit it as easily, so that is a good point on armor. Though. This is mostly just to test the uh, quality of the armor, the actual metal plate if you hit a dead center hit. It is quite uh, wider and a little more damaging than the actual throwing slide, but the throwing slide is pretty dang close. It actually outdid the pool queuing in this method. Ah! Make sure it wasn't a fluke. Uh, I don't think it was a fluke. Sorry, I had to, I had to do that. <laughs> Almost the exact same as we got here, and real close to the same depth we have here. Okay, back in an old video, Marquez had hit me uh, when he was representing the samurai with the spear this way. And he wanted me to test that, so I'm going to throw that in real quick and see what that does. That's pretty decent. Not too bad. That was another one from it as well. We just tested that out. I didn't have it on film. so. But this gives you an idea what that one will do. And that's putting the body weight behind it and coming in. That is not bad. It's pretty decent. It's a different part of the armor we're hitting. But it's almost not quite comparable to the overarm slide. And close to that. But that's putting the whole body weight behind the spear as you thrust in. That's me coming in down at an angle and leaning into it. So, yeah, I think he had a good idea there. It gives you a lot of power, most certainly. Okay, what I'm doing here, just so everybody can see, I'm going to hold it kind of like a pikeman would. And there's different ways to do this. I mean, heck, I can bring my arms all the way out this way. You do get a long range of motion, but it's already set up. And the reason a pikeman would hold it this way is because of the weight of the pole arm. But this is using all the arms in the body to thrust. That's why this arm's all the way in and this one's all the way back. I'm going to use my body weight and everything and try to see if I can kind of find this through. Ah! I got the same thing from the uh, throwing slide from the two-handed spear. Let's turn out the overarm uh, throw or throwing slide is actually doing more damage than the uh, than the other techniques. Try that one more time so we don't get a argument. Ah! Let's me put my body into it and everything. And that's from a pike style or a two-handed thrust style without a slide. We're getting these. The one with the slide we're getting a little better. And then uh, the actual throw was the deepest. So if you're out there, Scalagrim, and people told you not to throw spears in combat in close range, uh, it did that. Uh, the overarm arm throwing slide, which is akin to the throw, that's why I call it a throwing slide, and make sure I throw that part in there, it's a throwing motion, did that, which is very close to this. And everything else was just a little less lackluster. All this stuff would hurt, I wouldn't want to get hit that way. And our viewer that requests seeing this had a good point. This would protect you. 1.6 millimeter metal, slightly hardened and shaped properly, would protect you if you were wearing it. I wouldn't want to get hit with any of this, like I said. It would hurt, but uh, you might have a little blood, but you'd still be alive. That's, that's the point. Anything less than this, yes, I think you would have a hole through you, especially with this. It'd be in your chest somewhere. So uh, be sure you're out there to let me know who you were. Uh, be sure and leave a comment down below, and I'll put a proper, uh, so I can reply to you uh, properly, and address you in the title, and put a link in there to who you are. Uh, be sure let me know that. Uh, if you all want to uh, uh, go over to Facebook, uh, we have a Well of Remembrance page, and you can uh, 
like us there. Uh, you can ask for a membership, which I'm sure we'll give it to you over at the Thane Thran Boat, Boat Crew, which is on uh, Facebook as well. And be sure and subscribe to us here on uh, YouTube. And uh, be sure and like our video if you like it, and let us know down below what you think. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I think it was a fun episode. I'm glad he suggested this, and I'm going to have one hell of a time or a uh, fun time trying to fix this press plate up now if he's hate throwing anything away or thinking it's destroyed, but I think it's still got a lot more good use in it. Anyway, uh, Farvel. Hey, you know what? Our own Deadliest Warrior said that a bronze spear would bend on a Japanese breastplate. You know what? I don't really think that would happen. It didn't. It actually made it through. I need to resharpen it slightly, but we actually have a hole in the Gandison. I'm quite impressed. Deadliest Warrior, we may not be done with you yet.